new job um, working for a company that designs rape alarms. Um, and I always know when she's got a new job because she sends me free stuff. Um, so now I have loads of them, which is good. Um, it's said to happen in this sort of quite traumatic package at the start of last term, uh, which was this brown envelope uh, addressed to me from Anonymous, because uh, she forgot to label it, uh, with just like 30 rape alarms inside. <laughs> And at first I thought it was like a really elaborate threat. <laughs> You're going to need 35 rape alarms for what I'm planning to do to you, but it wasn't, um, luckily. They were just prototypes and she wanted me to like test them. Um, and they're... not in that way. <laughs> um, they're very weird objects, so like the company she works for, the most popular model they sell, the sound of the alarm is a recording of a woman screaming. Which is stupid because like that's the sound I can make without having to buy your product. <laughs> um, it also happens to be the only sound that we know doesn't put off a rapist. <laughs> yeah, they also make uh, a minor sexual assault alarm, uh, which is just the sound of a woman going, "Hey!" <laughs> um, yes, I'm going to move this now. Um, they're very weird objects, so the mechanism is quite weird, so they're designed quite badly. Um, so the mechanism is a steel pin on a chain, and you pull out the pin to set off the alarm, uh, which is fine, except that a pin is the shape with like, the least resistance, so I don't know why they designed it that way, because it's really easy to set off accidentally. Um, but then I thought maybe if you're thinking about rape all day, maybe that is the mechanism you'd come up with. So. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe you're meant to use it kind of after the event, like while he's making his getaway. Like you're meant to kind of pull out the pin and throw it after him, like a kind of rape grenade. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but no, I, I've been paying attention to the sort of discourse around rape recently. It's been in the press a lot. Um, I think generally we're sort of quite bad at, at conceptualising it. And there's this idea that always reoccurs, uh, that the vic a victim who's dressed sexually is sort of somehow complicit in her own assault. Um, and I think that comes out of this sort of quite nuanced distinction, um, which I've kind of whittled it down to, um, which is that um, sometimes women seek male attention, um, and sometimes they don't. <laughs> There's a very murky issue, a grey area um, to pick apart there. Um, but I was sort of thinking, like, if it is the case that you actually, like, attract a rapist um, by being sort of dressed, dressed so nicely, uh, they should make, like, preventative rape alarms, which just like announce really unattractive things about you. <laughs> so you'd be walking along the street and there'd be like a creepy guy and you'd sort of pull out a pin and it would just go, I have crabs! <laughs> um, so I made a list of stuff that I know that guys find unattractive um, that it might say, um, but I'll read for you now. Uh, so yeah, number one, I have crabs. Um, number two, I have a crab. <laughs> which is like a full-size crab. <laughs> That's not unattractive. <laughs> Um, oh, at number three, I'm a nag. <laughs> Lucky nag. No, I'm not. Um, number four, I had help uh, from Cosmo Girl magazine with this one. Um, I'm a feminazi. <laughs> and then number five, I'm just a regular Nazi. <laughs> Obviously, even rape yourself standards, I'm not so um, And then number six, um, have you seen the movie Teeth? That was the biopic of my life. <laughs> so fuck off and die. So that's, that's option on number six there. Um, but yeah, apparently, uh, apparently you're not even meant to scream if you get attacked. You're actually uh, meant to yell fire. Uh, yelling fire apparently draws more people to the, to, to the scene than a feminine scream. Um, which I think is really good information to put out there. I think spread the word on that. Because my common sense would have said that anyone that runs towards what they think is a fire... <laughs> isn't going to be that useful in a crisis. <laughs> um, yeah. um, but I said this to, to my friend and she said, no, no, it's quite the opposite actually, because the people that run towards the fires are the heroes of this world, um, and so exactly the kind of people that you want coming to your rescue. Um, now, I, I might be wrong on this, but I, I think that kind of mid-sexual assault is an unusual time to apply that kind of rigorous selection bias. <laughs> It's actually saying, yeah, I wouldn't be rescued, obviously, but I want to know that my rescuer would still be rescuing me if the situation were a lot worse. <laughs> and his life was also at risk. And I know that he really means it. When it comes to a fuck, if I ever get in that situation, I want fucking everyone there. Like, all the people, like, women, children, all my friends, all my enemies. I want my alarm to just say, free cakes! <laughs> 
or, or better, I'm going to design an alarm that just plays the Mr. Whippy song. <laughs> all the kids just come running to the scene. Um, I think they should make an alarm that just says, hey look, it's Justin Bieber. <laughs> really draw the crowds over. Um, but yeah, I think once you start to think about the other stuff that they, it, they might say, it starts to become really weird that they actually went with a scream rather than something more like controlled or, or rational. And the, the website says that these alarms um, give you your voice back in the face of an attacker. Um, which is fine, but it's like, why couldn't it be my voice from a different time? Like a time when I'm not being raped. <laughs> like a time which isn't the only time that I can't be expected to do anything else except for just lose my shit completely. Um, it's like, it'd be like jumping out of a plane and pulling the parachute cord, and instead of getting a parachute, it just goes, ah! <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is like that. Um, <laughs> But it's, and it's not even too much to ask for a bit of innovation because the same company that produces these rape alarms also make a whole range of alarms. So for example, they've had, they've had the foresight to design uh, for the bar going woman uh, a rape alarm and hand mirror. <laughs> and uh, for the jogger, a rape alarm and calorie counter. Um, so I've come up with my own designs, I'm just going to leave you on these. The three, three designs that I've, I've come up with. Um, okay, the first one is actually is quite a good idea, I think. It's a rape alarm and pepper spray. No applause for that. Number two, um, it's a rape alarm and, okay, and a smoke machine. Um, so you pull it out and a kind of mist appears and, and then you run away and then he thinks there are witches. <laughs> and he never rapes again. Um, and then number three, uh, it's like a sort of James Bond thing. Um, but basically, so you, you pull out the alarm and a kind of shh, a sort of pod appears. Um, and then you just wait out your awkwardness. <laughs> And then he leaves, and then you're safe. And then you call the police and report him, ideally. So on that note, <laughs> pleasant one. Goodbye.